In terms of George Zimmerman himself, the, the latest pictures of him in court, he looked to have put on a huge amount of weight. He looked under great stress. Describe to me his physical and mental condition right now. He's facing a prosecution where they're trying to put him in prison for life for an event that he believes he acted reasonably and in the only way that he could. And he is in hiding because he can't go out in public. He's gained an enormous amount of weight, uh, uh, over 120, 25 pounds, I think, because he's sitting in a house stressed, trying to deal with the, uh, the moniker that's been put on him, that he's the most hated man in America for taking the life of somebody when he really feels that he needs to. Nobody takes the life of another lightly, and neither does George. And it's obviously showing in the stress and the way he handles it with an enormous amount of weight gain. Do you think, Mark O'Meara, that we're ever going to really know what happened? And if we don't know the answer to that question, is it likely to be a tinderbox, whatever verdict comes in? There was somebody, I think it was on your program, Pierce, who said a long time ago that no matter how this case ends up, it's not going to end well for America. He was a defense attorney out of New York. And I said to you off air that I'm very concerned that that's exactly what's going to happen. I think that no one who doesn't want to believe in the jury system and the criminal justice system will be happy with the results one way or the other. I think the evidence is going to be such that we will know most of what happened that night. Because we have the forensic evidence, I won't go over it all, but we have a lot of forensic evidence and people seem to really want to find out some, some magical formula to suggest that it just wasn't Trayvon Martin's fault because they don't want to suggest that a seven-year-old could have caused his own death. But those who want that as a result will never accept an acquittal. And those who believe that George acted in absolute self-defense will never accept a conviction. My fear is that the very thing that Ben Crump says he wants, which is uh, this is a civil rights matter that we should talk about, if we're not careful, we're just going to go to opposite ends of the country and never talk about an event that we need to talk about. Mark O'Meara, thank you for joining me. Good to be here. I want to turn to the other side of the story. It is Benjamin Crump, an attorney for Trayvon Martin's family. Benjamin, welcome back to the show. You heard there what Mark O'Meara had to say. He name-checked you several times. What is your reaction to George Zimmerman's attorney's comments? Well, first of all, I'll say Attorney O'Meara is not being intellectually honest if he doesn't denote the racial undertones in this case. Uh, this is a civil rights slash equal justice case, Pierce. It is the whole world watching to see if everybody in America can get, can get equal justice. Over two million people signed a petition that said George Zimmerman should be arrested for killing an unarmed teenager. There were protests and rallies all over the country, in fact, all over the world, that said you cannot send this irresponsible message that you can shoot an unarmed teenager and not even be arrested, go home and sleep in your bed that night. And so there's a, a big element of civil rights in this matter. The police didn't even do a drug and alcohol analysis on a self-confessed killer of an unarmed kid. They didn't even do a background check. They took his word as the gospel. They didn't knock on doors to see if this was somebody's kid. They just assumed what George Zimmerman's stereotypical belief was that this was a criminal, these a-holes always get away. That's the objective evidence in this case. And so we understand it's a criminal case, but it's far more reaching than that. If this is just about Trayvon Martin and George Zimmerman and we don't have a greater dialogue, then we've all lost the opportunity.